Hey everyone, it's Duncan Epping, yellowbricks.com, and today I'm going to show you something that has changed in the Express Storage architecture with vSAN 8.0 compared to the original storage architecture. So let me show you the original storage architecture first. So when you create a vSAN cluster, what you're going to do next is you'll be creating disk groups, and these disk groups is where you'll actually be storing your virtual machines. Now, in the original storage architecture, when you create a disk group, what you're going to do is you're going to designate certain devices as caching devices and certain devices as as capacity devices for every single disk group you will have a single caching device as you can see and you will have one or multiple capacity devices now this is something that has changed with the express storage architecture because we no longer will be uh, defining any disk groups what you will see is what we call a storage pool now starting with vSAN 8.0 what we're going to do is we're going to be creating different types of components and those components those will be used for performance as well as capacity when we write io so whether it's a 4k block or a 32k block that io is going to be stored in the performance lag first and then when we've collected all the way up to 512 kilobytes we're going to do a full stripe write to the capacity lag this ensures that we have performance from a write perspective at the level of RAID one but we use the capacity at the efficiency of RAID 5 or RAID 6. Now, it also means, of course, that we no longer need to create these disk groups. And if you look at the disk management section, you will notice immediately that something has changed when we click on one of the hosts. So we select one of the hosts and we click on view disks and what we'll see is just a number of disks. No longer will we be able to differentiate between caching devices or capacity devices. So that is what specifically has changed for vSAN 8.0, the express storage architecture. However, you can see, of course, that performance lag and that capacity lag, but you need to go to the virtual machine itself. So when you click on the virtual machine, you go to monitor and you click on the physical disk placement, you will be able to see multiple RAID configurations. The top RAID configuration, which is a RAID 1 configuration, is going to be the performance lag. And then the bottom RAID configuration, which in this particular case is a RAID 5 configuration, is going to be the capacity lag. As I mentioned, all of the IOs will be stored in the performance lag first, which is a RAID 1 configuration with two components in this particular case. And then as soon as we collect it up to 512 kilobytes worth of data, it is going to be stored in that uh, capacity lag, which is the RAID 5 configuration. Now do note, if you would have selected values to tolerate this to, you would see a RAID 6 configuration and a RAID 1 configuration with three components. So that is how we ensure that we can actually tolerate the numbers of failures you have specified. And hopefully with that, I've been able to explain to you what some of the benefits are of the new Express storage architecture. I hope you enjoyed the demo and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.